here's the thing. Sue is the, Sue is definitely the favorite. But let me tell you something. Uh, uh, Dust Gaming's uh, player manager Ricky. Uh, I was um, I, I was in the Skype chat when he was talking to us and talking to Shaft, right? And uh, Shaft was talking about, oh, you know, we'll we'll try to do like a winner interview and and make sure that the that the that the player who wins the best of seven series uh, gets to have a say afterwards. And um, Shaft was talking about. Uh, to Ricky, like the possibility of, of what happens if Sue wins versus the possibility of what Bunny wins. And Ricky just straight up goes, guys, Bunny's not going to lose. Like, he just straight up said that. And I was like, whoa. Confident. Oh, I was like, whoa. Like, for him to say that, that means, like, Bunny must be more than ready for this match then. Hopefully we'll see something a little better after this and get that interview. If y'all want to get that interview, go ahead and donate to our Match at Reno page. I do believe there are still coupon codes. I don't know exactly which one is for this event, but our chat mods will post the link and the codes in there where you can donate a dollar free of charge to this event. That money will help go towards the players. And if we get $200 in donations, we can have an interview with the winner of this series. Yeah, I actually the codes are like imprinted into my mind because that was the issue that I that I had to fix last night with the polygon staff. But uh, uh, the codes are, you know, what's mine is mine for Sue versus Bunny and Breathe Deep for Life or Solar. For those of you guys who don't know, this is not the only series we had today. I mean, it's already epic enough that we have a best of seven between Sue and Bunny. But after this, we have a live versus Solar. So I'm telling you guys. Don't go anywhere after Sue vs. Bunny is over because you're not going to want to miss another epic TVZ series. Definitely. And let's get into this game. Oh, Felipe, we're on. Oh. Paladino Terminal. Oh, yeah, I'm excited for this one. And let's introduce our players, starting with the Blue Terran in the top left hand corner of the map. The loser of the last game, he is Dust Bunny. And his opponent, former SK Telecom Team 1 Zerg player, winning Cactus Valley Game 1 in such a commanding. It is going to be Sue. Now we are seeing a little bit of a different play off of Bunny this game. Uh, what is going to be prompting that? We are seeing three barracks already. As well as I mean, a Reaper coming across, all of them rallied across the map. You know, considering that the map is Paladino Terminal, I'm not surprised that Bunny is doing this. Terran players love to do this on this map because it's very good for Reapers. There's so many cliffs and edges that you can jump up and down from. It, re it reminds me of Frozen Temple. Frozen Temple was such a heavy three racks map. So I'm not surprised at all that Bunny is doing this on Paladino Terminal. And... If you notice, he built his barracks, you know, inside of his base, which allows him to do a Swing macro transition. There's no attack. way that this is going to be an all-in. Now, granted, if Bunny deals enough damage, he could easily kill off Sue right here. But let's say Sue is ready. He's got the speedlings out. He's got the queens. And then he gets ravagers, and Bunny can't deal any more damage. It's okay because he'll have a macro transition ready. So this is a great move on Bunny's part, and it just works so well on this map. I definitely agree there. Now, Sue did spot this with that first Overlord, and he is going to spot more <coughs> stuff running across the map. A Zergling in there just trying to bug Sue, or bug Bunny, try attack. to get, um, pull one of those Reapers there, pull some, uh, SCVs, but we are seeing the Reapers starting to pile up here. No Reapers have gone down yet, but two Zerglings have, and he is not quite on creep for this engagement, which means that these Reapers do have the speed advantage against these slow links. There are a lot of them though, but those they are just too fast, those Reapers, and they are going to pull out for now. Yeah, so this is going to be Bunny's game plan. He is going to build up a big number of Reapers to try to apply as much pressure as he possibly can. And for Sue, you see him already starting it. He's got that creep spread starting from inside of his base, connecting to his natural, which is exactly what you need to do. You need these links to be running on creep. You need the links to be as fast as possible to be able to hold against the Reapers. He's got speed finishing soon, so very soon, this Reaper Harass won't be able to do much anymore, and Bunny could end up losing these this entire army if he's not careful. So he's going to have to make some careful decisions here. He can't be too quick about this. And he is going to move in with these Reapers here. It looks like he is almost going to snipe that Queen being pulled back at just the right time. Sue is still being very smart, not sending in his links quite yet. One of those Queens is going to go down, though, and the Reapers are going to get out 
happy with what they have gotten for now. So that was actually, it was really well done by Bunny. He didn't over, didn't needlessly lose his reapers. But do you see how uh, Sue is sending his left? This is just beautiful. He knows that Bunny's rallying his reapers Very over. Very good reaper grenades there. And the reapers hopping up on that cliff going to try and uh, push away these Zerglings, which are going to loop around the map. I think they are going to go back home now anyway. But this means that Bunny is a little afraid of these Zerglings on his side. But it looks like he is not going to be too timid about it, and he is going to send his Reapers right back in. Yeah, so this is actually a very good move on his part to keep his Reaper. Oh, actually, hold on, he's going to come in. Oh, he gets another Queen and a couple of Zerglings. Is he going to get the third Queen? More Reapers, I do believe, are finally dying here, though. Uh, two Reapers have died this entire game. That is all Bunny has lost versus a whole lot of minerals that um, Sue has lost four queens, eight links, and a few drones on top of that. So far, I, I would say Bunny is ahead at the moment. It's 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 definitely um, it's definitely a little a little difficult right now to call who is ahead because I mean Bunny is going for the standard triple CC follow up to this three Rex Reaper, and it, it, and this is a build that Terran players love to do because it's so hard for Zerg to punish the Terran player unless the Terran player is not paying attention. But in this case, I mean, Bunny hasn't really killed any drones. He's killed off some queens, yes, but economically, Sue is fine. He's perfectly fine. And he's got the supply lead, he's droning up, he's got the speed link so he can continue to run around and try to have as much map control as possible. So Sue is actually in a great spot. It's really hard to say that Bunny is ahead. If Bunny had gotten at least like six drone kills. I could have said that Bunny is ahead. At this point, I think they're pretty darn even. And I think Sue just did a great job of defending. Now, granted, he was a little vulnerable earlier on when his links were running around the map and were on Bunny's territory. Bunny took advantage of that and ran straight in and started uh, doing the bombs and drop uh, and hitting and killing off queens. But but remember, like I said, Sue didn't lose drones, so he's not he's in an okay position. Losing queens is okay. You can replenish those. Definitely, and we are seeing a little more aggression off of Bunny here. Stim pack is finished up, which means he's going to drop in this way. But Sue is right on top of that, moving in with a whole lot of links into Bunny's main, killing some SCBs there. Main link's finally up, but those speed reapers and uh, those stimmed marines are a little too fast for them. Bunny having to pull a lot of SCBs. 15, 16, 17 SCBs have been killed in Bunny's base. Meanwhile, this attack is still continuing. 18, 20 SCBs! So many SCBs dying, whereas Bunny is still gonna, he might get this hatchery here, but he's just losing so much in his main. 34, 35, 37, 39 SCBs dead. I mean, yes, this, I, this is just, uh, this is this is really bad uh, for Bunny right now. Uh, he is a sticky situation. Bunny has three and workers left. I, and you, you're right, he has three workers. I mean, he's got the triple OC. He's got the triple orbital command. He's got triple orbital but I'm- oh, oh! Oh! Good pickup there. One Baneling did go off, but the rest of those Marines are gonna get out of there. And I, I think... left- I, I'm telling you right now, had Bunny lost that- There's nothing left for Bunny to apply pressure to Sue. Nothing- nothing stopping from Sue to going off and killing off Bunny. If that medevac full of units had just died. Right there. That would have been- Pretty much game for Bunny had that happen, but with this, he still has a little bit of an inkling of a chance. And Sue is moving back with more Zerglings, just gonna keep up the, the, the fantastic Zergling pressure that has been continuing. Looks like Sue, or Bunny does have a few SCVs. The Medivacs are going to save that, uh, or a few Marines coming down. The Medivacs are gonna save that one SCV. And is this Marine going to finally finish off that Zergling attack? But there's more going down, down at Sue's third eight little bit of a drop there a widow mine now out just kind of hanging around there uh oh, i don't think that will catch sue off guard he should have seen that and yeah, fully... more and more zerglings just going around yeah no fully but i don't know if you were able to catch that but the widow mine did friendly fire the medevac is in red health that's because of the widow mine it went off and and hurt the medevac a lot and considering the plus eight anti-air range that the queen has Bunny is in a lot of trouble, and he's going to have to micro his butt off. Abs. 
Absolutely. We see that widow mine going down. Bunny still only has 17 workers. How many workers have died this game? 39 I, SCVs have been killed. This game. 39 SCVs have done it. Let me tell you something. This game is completely Sue's at this rate. If Bunny doesn't do something to bring himself back in this game, there's just nothing he can do to stop Sue from, from his economy getting out of control. The supply difference is just far too significantly in the favor of the Zerg player. And Bunny, there's not much he can do right now. As you can see, his, his main base is walled off, but his natural is completely exposed. Right now, he just doesn't have the money to build a supply wall that he needs. So in that sort of situation, what Bunny can do, and the only thing he can do really, is to build a bunker actually in his mineral line. Build a bunker in his mineral line, and then block off any pathways that the Zerglings could be coming in. That's the Speaking only of way Zerglings, they move back in, and Sue takes yet another game. Oh my, that Zergling. I, that I won the game for Sue, easy. You know, I, I have to say that, you know, in terms of what Sue, in terms of decision making of what Sue could have done in that situation, I mean, he played it perfectly. He knew that he was constantly getting harassed. He knew that Bunny was being aggressive. And what did Sue decide to do? He decided to run his link around and do a counterattack instead of running around and chasing Bunny. What Bunny wants is he wants Sue to chase him. He wants Sue to chase him around and try to try to block Bunny's attack. But what did Sue do? He went for a counterattack instead and said, hey, listen, I know you're very vulnerable. Your base is just wide open. I'm going to run links in here and just kill off 39 SCVs. And that means you can't do anything. It's game over after that. That's exactly what Sue just said to Bunny. Yes, yeah, Sue is going. Yes, yeah, Sue is going to be just the uh, the king of counterattacks this game. I can already feel it. Two games essentially won on those games or on those counterattacks. So good.